I want to encourage anyone listening to this now to seek out the audio tape on Cryon Book One. Although all of the Cryon information is interesting and enlightening, it follows a natural sequence of learning and understanding that was presented carefully in suitable order. I believe it would serve you better to listen to Book One if you have not. If you do, it will help you in what is to follow. As I mentioned in Book One, I am a very practical, pragmatic person. As a businessman, I spend most of my time in front of my computer screens dealing with numbers, planning correspondence and the like. I am not prone to being flighty, and I am very, very skeptical of everything I cannot touch and feel. This kept me away from reading any metaphysical books whatsoever, and never found me at meetings where folks were meditating in groups, waiting for tables to rise or spoons to bend. When Cryon entered my life, there was great cosmic humor over this fact, and now I understand why. The universe needed someone with an open heart and an empty mind, and boy did it find one. The cosmic humor results in the fact that I contracted to do this before I ever came in. But of course, I do not know this while I am here. I represent the attitude of countless humans who would never be caught dead in a seance, unless of course they were dead and attending in that form. <laughs> And so I remain the proverbial doubting Thomas, even as I continue to channel this great loving entity called Cryon. This is as it should be, for it serves me well to be this way. It not only keeps me honest, but it keeps things happening with a degree of integrity toward this process that otherwise might be simply accepted as par for the course. My feelings are that this experience is hardly par, and I have yet to locate the course. Here's what I do know. Since Cryon Book One was released, amazing things have happened to me and those around me. The book was read and accepted by workers and non-workers alike. I received countless letters from all over the Northern Hemisphere. Many sought me out and wanted a closer look. I sat with individuals in groups and just let the information and love flow, and it has made a difference in many lives. I learned how to communicate with my guides and found them receptive to the extent that I actually felt I was creating my own reality. I would explain things and ask for help creating action and would get it sometimes within one day. This is powerful stuff. I took my new power and I am continuing to work with it daily. Then I discovered how logical it was too. How can I explain how my heart feels? I have unwarranted peace. Too peaceful for what I know is going on around me. This is an actual statement and may sound like I need psychological help, but it's literal. I feel better than I should under circumstances that heretofore would normally have produced less peace or even anxiety. And that's not all. I'm starting to feel balanced for the first time in my life. I view others differently, and often my heart overflows with love for them. At the same time, I see appropriateness in all things, even death. I wish to bask a moment in the love I have for you, for I have brought with me those who will sit next to your guides and speak to them lovingly of who you are. There is excitement here any time the cryon is allowed to sit in front of those such as you or have these messages heard by those such as you. Remember, you are in the now as much as those who are at this channeling. There is great sweetness here now. I wish to speak to you of disease and imbalance. Know this, a very important item, something that must be said for those still doubting what they are seeing. Spirit does not give you disease and imbalance. Spirit does not judge you as a human in lesson. Spirit is not here to give you negative punishment. There is no such thing. We want you to know where your dis-ease comes from. The answer is something many of you already know, for it has been written and translated before. It emanates directly from you. It is your choice, you see. You agreed before you came in to create it or to allow for it. It is based upon logical judgment and past life karma. 
Therefore, you are responsible for it in every way. Spirit has done nothing to you. It is yours intrinsically, just as your arms and legs are. You have asked for it in advance, and now here it is. It may seem odd to you that you would, from a different posture, while you are not here, ask for something so seemingly negative, so frightening, so fear-producing. Is this not in total agreement with the lessons of karma, which are also frightening and fearful? For this is all tied together. What you have in the infirmities of your biology is simple karma. It is the body language of your humanness in lesson. Let me now tell you some of the attributes of the human body which you may not be aware of. I wish to tell you of the polarity of the organs. Dear ones, when you go into your modern medical facilities, nowhere do you find where someone is measuring your organ polarity and magnetic balance. Nowhere will you find where someone is adjusting it. Yet this organ polarity and balance is critical for your health. How can your scientists miss this when they can measure the electricity of your muscles in your brain, and when they can map the wiring of your body and see the results of synapse in your biological thinking? All this is magnetics. The polarity of your human body is a handshake to the polarity of the earth. If you are perfectly balanced and the polarities are correct, you will not let disease in. 